Hey guys, Mika here, and I'm bringing you a beautiful custom tenor size instrument from Luthier Manny Halliken here on the island of Oahu on the west side of the island. And this is his custom instrument, the Pahukani instrument. And you know, Manny builds some of um, the most unique, creative, innovative instruments really out there. Um, follow Luthier's um, in the ukulele world. So it's always a treat, you know, playing another one of his instruments and trying to see like, you know, what's, go what's going on with this one now? Cause it's always quite a treat being able to play um, all of these or all of his instruments. So starting off, beautiful Hawaiian curly coal. I mean, just really quite perfect. You know, the wood is just perfectly book matched. Um, it looks like one piece of wood really. Nice two dark streaks coming down the center of the instrument. Just really nice dark chocolate color all in the front of the instrument. Nice tight stack curls on both sides. Again, the curls just go right, you know, lining up with each other. So it looks like one just beautiful piece um, of wood here in the front. On the sides, at first I was like, huh, that's koa. Uh, that looks pretty interesting. This is olive wood here on the sides and on the back of the instrument. I love the curls and the waves. Um, little circles right here, so really nice. And you're probably already noticing, like, what's there's a hole in my instrument on the back side of the on the back side, and that's correct because again, Matt, Matty does some very unique and innovative things on his instruments. And one of the things that he does is he takes the sound hole from the front and puts it on the back of the instrument. Um, and as well as having a side port here, not only on the bottom part of the bout, so this is upper bout, the bottom part, because it's facing away from me, but as well as this area here that actually is aimed towards my face. This allows the instrument to breathe in a different way. Again, more unconventional compared to having the sound you know, spill out of the front and project forward. You have the sound kind of here on the sides and towards the back of you. So for me, it creates a very interesting kind of scenario speaking sound wise because now you don't have the instrument you know really loud because it's projecting forward but you have the instrument or you have the sound spilling back towards you so when i strum like a c chord now it's not loud like most instruments but i do hear the sound a lot again where that's you know where the sound holes are here and because there is a hole cut in the back of the instrument i can feel the vibrations of the instrument against my somewhat big belly that I have here. But it sounds really nice, it feels really nice, you can feel the vibration. But just nice, beautiful, warmth, oozing, beautiful tone. Again, not the loudest instrument, but you know, if you have a plug-in, you can just plug it in and turn the volume up. So not not really a hard you know thing to get around, but in terms of the tone that this instrument's producing, just real nice and mellow, subtle warm really nice makes you feel really nice and good so that's the sound of the instrument and you know when we're coming back to the aesthetics itself we have beautiful Korean binding it pretty much looks like graphite or like charcoal kind of binding almost looks like glitter has that kind of um, effect uh, with the look so it's wrapped all the way around the top of the instrument as well as the back of the instrument it's even wrapped around uh, right here on the sides of the instruments right here are on the side of the headstock around the tuners right here and then you can also see it right away here on the front of the slotted headstock right here so coming back to here the instrument is also has a beautiful red purfling that goes along the sides of the Korean binding here on the sides as well as on the top. It's actually pretty much everywhere on this instrument. It's here on the side, you know, on the side ports, here around the back side of the sound hole, here on the neck right here, or on the heel part of the area of the of the neck. And then it's even wrapped around the fretboard right here on the perimeter. And we even have the red purfling on the inside of the slotted headstock, the Pahukani logo right here on the instrument. And then even on the back on the inside, you can see it wrapped around here, as well as the perimeter on the top and bottom of the of the sided headstock. So you pretty much have red everywhere going on um, in this instrument. Got rosewood fretboard and bridge right here. And even though you don't have fret markers here on the fretboard itself, you have fret markers here on five, seven, ten, double on twelve right here. Um, again, with that Korean. Um, binding right here or that that material here that's wrapped around um, on the side of the headstock we have your four tuners on each side because this is an eight string custom ukulele so golden black tuners all eight of them 
and then we come to the tuning itself. Oh, one last thing, we have a gloss finish, somewhat flatter neck profile here um, on the neck, and we have a stain, slightly kind of brownish stain, um, curly maple here on the, on the back for the neck. Now, going into the orientation of the sound and how the strings are set up, again, this is an eight string ukulele, mostly used, uh, the way I like to think of it um, for strumming, you could pick a do or do finger style on this instrument, but it's gonna sound pretty, pretty cool, uh, but more difficult because you're pressing a double string. So there's a lot of interesting things going on with that. So strumming wise, this is ideal. You get that nice rich sound because you get all of these different, you have all eight strings ringing. Now coming onto the top strings, we have a double G. So we have a high and a low G. And then on the middle two, these, the C string right here, we have a high C and a low C. And then we have octave E's right here. So they're the same in unison. And then we have a high A and a low A, just like that. So very unique sound profile. So when I make a C major chord, uh, what makes it really unique is that octave A. So that low A, you're almost having a bass A or a bass note or a C when I'm holding a C note. So you get a really unique sound. When I play an F major chord, get that low A again. Just think of like a 12 string guitar where all the strings are doubled up and you get all of this beautiful, you almost get like a chorus kind of effect for those of you who are into guitar pedals. Um, you turn the chorus pedal on, this is pretty much <laughs> what it sounds like. So with one instrument, you have so much things going on with, you know, with the sound, the tone, and this is all acoustic without any kind of fancy gadgets or pedals here on the board that you have to plug your instrument into, so. So yeah, let's go ahead and strum along with this instrument, so. Let's go. 